All right, <clears throat> live now. Salam Israel, you are about Shimmy or Shai Brakafat to all the brothers. Salaki, you are Shimmy or Latam, but Shimmy or Shai to the sisters. All right, peace and love is a task. Oh, the number of peace and love is a girl one today. I right, for the scripture breakdown class, but today in Trinidad and Tobago, right? The Trinidad Island of Trinidad and Tobago, there's a holiday that is called Emancipation Day, right? But um, I don't know how emancipated we are, and by definition, right? When we look up the terminologies and what we face today, the Black, Hispanic, and Native Indian man in Trinidad and Tobago around the shores of the Caribbean, Central and South America, in the United States, in the UK, wherever we reside, we never seem to have the same attachment to being emancipated, all right? So without further ado, what we'll do is we go into the definition of emancipation, all right? And today we'll measure and see if, um, if, we, if today should be a day called emancipation. At least for us, it should give everybody else that <laughs> and not give that to us, right? Let's see if, if, um, if that's the case. All right, definition of emancipation. The fact or process of being set free from legal, social, or political restrictions. Liberation. Liberated, right? Free from legal, social, and political restrictions, okay? Today, is the black man, does the black man have his identity today? They call him an African, right? Where is the school that shows the black man the exact tribe that he comes from, his exact language, the things that used to work for him? I'm talking about more than 500 years ago because we like to have on the fact, right, that they call us Trinidadians. But Trinidad is a 500 year old country. What do you do, right? Or where is the, where could you trace back to your ancestors to show, right, that, emanci that we are emancipated people? Right? Where where do we tie into? Where do we belong as a society, as a as as the so-called black man? Where do we face in this cosmopolitan society of Trinidad and Tobago? Where's our infrastructure, our our health infrastructure, our financial and educational front, um, infrastructure? Where is it? Where are our what you call it, our representatives? Right? Not for everybody. I'm talking about the Chinese have their association. The Syrians have their association. The East Indian have their Mahasaba, right? The so-called white man, he has his, you know, um, dem democratic um, policies and and the Democrats and Republican system, right? That is totally run by them, okay? But with a few of um of us being um, being allowed trinkets, right? A few of us have been um, getting an opportunity, right, to serve under them, but not. Be you understand the rulers of that we don't show the legislation. And if it was that we was emancipated according to here, we're not supposed to be constrained by their their legal system, their social system, their political restrictions. And we're supposed to be liberated. So why is it that if I go into Syria, right, and I and I form I, I pose a threat, there's a there's almost in the sense a guaranteed outcome or guaranteed reaction that we might face a war, an actual war between nation and nation. Where does that happen when they go into the black community and they shoot one of our brothers, which is an act of war, right? Where does that happen? But if I go to, to, to this place, to Syria, right? And I kill one of the, the, second, the second in command there, the entire street will have an uproar. They will shut down the entire country. Where is that for the so-called black man? Hispanic man, Native Indian man. Anybody can tell me? So, so are we are we emancipated then? I don't know. Somebody, somebody in the comments could probably say that. Show me. I, I might be missing it. But where is it? Where could we find it? Tell me. I don't think that is really emancipated. But we still carry a surname of slave masters. Thank you very much. It's a heavy point. You follow? So, where is our family lineage? Where are our royalties? They follow where are the things that come along with, with being um I call it a family that has its own name, that has their own history, their own legacy. Where is that? Where is that enshrined? Where is the museum with our artifacts, our actual history? Where is it? Is that important? But to the culture of our people. What what does a race have? Let's let's look into the definition of race, right? Or nationality. 
יותר מה שמרץ בלשון רעב. זה תפקיד הפציעה, נשיא הוא דיבר עיני. אה בואי, the definition of nationality, the status of belonging to a particular nation, where do we belong to? What nation or what race? Because that's the definition of nationality. What race do we belong to? Who teaches that in the schools? Where is it in the colleges? Let's say if they miss a mistake, primary school, secondary school, where is it in the colleges? Where is the top? Emancipated man and woman. Where is it? I'm sorry, like, like, like the structure said, they're consulted together, so they're not. Damn right. Remember who he is anyway. Cancer, damn right. So, so all the races are not a big factor. Cancer, correct. Right, because if it means that you cannot have yours, which means somebody's trying to fight you from having yours. Right. Yeah, as, as the officer was just now bringing out there. Right, and with that, let, let us get, there's a, there's, a, there's a very nice scripture to bring up here, Psalm 83. Right, because we could now tie it in. And see if all of that, that this is our actual plot against us. And why it is that every other race could have theirs and they don't want us to have ours? Which means they, they, they definitely come together as the scripture saying, Psalm 33, Baba Kosha. Book of Psalms. Chapter 83 and verse 2. Concern. For lo, thy enemies make it tumult. And enemies make a tumult. They make a, conf a confused noise. They, have, they make a uproar. Go ahead. And they that hated thee have lifted up the head. And they that love the most high. And they that hated thee have lifted up the head. And them that hated God, that pretend as the Christians and all of that. What they have done? They have taken crafty counsel mm -hmm. against thy people right. and consulted against thy hidden ones. So what wrong with that? With even though, right, let's say Christianity was a good thing for our people. What is wrong with us having our identity? Why it is that we have to be Christian, but the East Indian could come from East Indian and know exactly where they come from, the tribe that they come from, the spot they come from, the people in Indonesia. Why it is that a Chinese man and a Korean will have, will have a, 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 what do you call it, a serious issue with them being called each other with, with them accepting their names. And they're Christian. And they, they could have the Christianity, but they could still have the identity. Why does we you understand must not have ours? Why, why is that? We don't know, Bakusha. Let's see why. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. Mm -hmm. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Right. Together with one consent. Hmm. Wait, wait now, wait now. I thought everybody was equal. So, how come they consulted together? How come they, the, the European the, uh, the Union? Look at the, the um, you think that's strong? Yeah. The UN, United Nations, right? How come all of them sit down together and plot and, and where is our space? Where is our representation? Where is our seat? Where is the history of us? You understand? Actually coming together and, and bringing contributions together and help the black the black community. Everybody else, I don't see. You understand? They they go into that in their communities. I don't see they pushing all the drugs and the alcohol stuff in and all into the churches and their communities. I don't see that. So how come they understand how much structure to make sure that these things are implemented and they're protected, but we don't have ours? How come, you understand, when other African nation try to come against and, and crush another African nation, the UN has come, you understand, and try to put a halt to that. But when they come in and, and pushing drugs to our community, there's no halt to that. How come they could overlook and understand all these containers of drugs and guns coming into the communities? I don't know what he's saying. Hey, man, it's a serious issue. Right? If one of this is the act of war, where is the where is the pause on that? Where is the inquisition? Where is the, the case, the court cases I can see? And the high cases going up to be to the people in the in the, um, in the UK. Where can I see that? Where is it? If we emancipated. Probably we're not in smart emancipated after all. Hmm? We don't have a question? Yes, sir? Yeah, it's a lot, yes, sir. And mm -hmm. then we know that they are um, observed. They're rather heavy in a way mm -hmm. because now you can bring two points to this now. Right. Now we are showing where you know we are that people not emancipated. Mm -hmm. And then now you can bring out the point now showing where Commanding General Yana, right. you know, really emancipate brothers. I'm right. Indeed, where we are today and understand the you know, showing our identity and right. they were really bringing us back together 
the really be that nation as the scripture now say that we are a nation of desire. Thanks, sir. That's right. For sure, because remember, this is, that, this is the entire government they're fighting him. These people make up a nation, a nation has a government. If all you fighting them for the opportunity for them to rule over the people well, him, and they want this. So how come, you know, how come, how come that could be, you understand? Um, that could be tolerated, right? And then we take, you understand, the trinket or the little gift of being so called emancipated. But when I look up the definition, does nobody who celebrate emancipation read the definition of emancipation? Some of us going to, to we work for banks, lawyers, doctors, you understand, judges, all these different things. Where all these judges, all these judges that making decisions on people's life on a daily basis. How come they never see these things in them and make an uproar about it? How come Archer Ivy, you understand? Uh, uh, I mean, Iba Archie, Iba Archie and Deborah Thomas Felix and they, how come they never come together with the council in Poland and say, hey, this, you understand, is an act of war on our people? Could they understand these things? How come they never stand up for us and say, well, bam, look what's going on here with these people and we can't, we can't allow this to happen? What will happen to us? The sister exists. You follow? So which means the people in them here, the leaders that leading us then, they lead us down a trap. If, if I'm mistaken, we could see it here, you understand, it's a clear part that they're leading us to destruction, right? But wait now, but who's the, who's the moral authority on the planet right now? Everybody like Christianity, yeah? That's right. But everybody in the culture, how come they just keep the culture and all of that? You know what I mean? At least they skip the heritage, they, they just keep all the good things that come from them because I don't see nobody coming off the money. That they get, you understand, through the culture and say, Well, I don't want this. If all I will keep the Christianity, but get, take back all your money. Who does do that? All the money that come from slave labor, you understand, the rape and robbery and all these different things that happen to us for them to be rich. The banks in the, that they stand today, all these financial institutions and all of that. How come they doesn't come off the money? Neil and Marcy and all of them. How come they doesn't, you understand, say, Well, I look at the follow. We know exactly where it comes from. You know what I mean? Who does say, okay, if I know a man is sell drugs, you follow? Real drugs. And he come into an institution, he doesn't have no other business, no shell corporation that trying to hide it, nothing. And come into any business, right? And say, well, all right, I want to buy cash. Who does do that? Who does take it like that? That's really entry. What that would be? That would put them in, in jeopardy, right? That could shut down their business for receiving stolen goods or, or being affiliated, you understand, with narcotics and the, and the sale of illicit trade right so how come that these people and them that have all this money and they're generating all our money now the black leaders and them of all community not saying the eloquent you understand the the, the the well the well taught up and all these people let's push the emancipation committee and all of that they have a committee now how come they say well now nah, we can't take that money how come they, they, they don't say that but no even not even they saying okay if they if they was christian then they follow and they was real holy about it and all of that, right? And they say, I didn't want to take anything that I suspect. Not that, not that they know of, I don't know of, because I know that the bank, you understand, was raised on drug money. I know they understand the thief and, and they rape and they rob to get that money. I know that for sure. Anybody can see that. They follow, there's, there's documents here. I've got a document here that's talking about in Wall Street, where the slaves and they, right? The emancipated people. The way Wall Street build up was offered insurance policies of the slaves. That was the first set of insurance policies. In fact, not the majority, let me say this is the first, but I know the majority, 60% of the quantity document, 60% of them was of a slave labor. And that is what they run into day on. I don't see the, 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 the black leaders and they say that I ain't taking that one. Or we shouldn't contribute to that. And we should not know emancipation. What should happen is we take away all our money from feeding them further. I don't see that happening. Though. Right? Because they say now with, with slavery, Right, with emancipation now, you're supposed to be free, right? So we don't have we don't have no identity, we don't have no culture, you understand? We don't have no financial stability and all the different institutions that teach us. We don't have that at all, right? But here we have though. We have a trinket. You understand? We have somebody coming and saying sweet words, right? Well, let me pull the understand idea. Chapter three and those. Just now, where is it? Give me the scripture that say that them that lead the cause to err, but in the meantime, give me Isaiah 30, Baba Kisha. Only Isaiah 30, right? So these black leaders and they that know about the. 
right? These black leaders and them that, that know about we call it the um the emancipation and how it all come together because remember they have to go to documents to, to say right that this is something acceptable, right? So how come it's acceptable for us in a sense to get all these different uh we call it atrocities done against us, right? But we're not making a stand against it, saying that this is a lie that we're not that we're not emancipated. How come? I know somebody can answer that for me. Because they went to documentation to, to set up the committee, right? Anybody has established a business, they had to go through and do that, right? Legislation to do that. So where is it then? Where is, why why the leaders don't have a freedom? Hmm. Good question. Anybody have the idea? Them that lead the course to her? No, no. Kishore, you mean? Uh, Isaiah chapter 3 and verse 12. Babu Kishore, go ahead. As for my people, uh -huh. children are their oppressors, mm -hmm. and women rule over them. Mm -hmm. Oh, my people, right. which to air uh -huh. and destroy the way of thy path. Give me the last part again. Oh, my people, Babu Kishore. Oh, my people, they which led thee, cause thee to air and destroy the way of my path. Them not leading you right now, in a sense, need you to, uh, because you're not emancipated by definition, neither can I see it in the way we operate, the way our communities function as a people. You don't have your identity, you don't have your culture, you don't have your language, you don't have your laws, you follow, you don't have no structure to make sure that you are protected in any way, shape or form. You are not emancipated black man, Hispanic man, native Indian man. This is another lie that you choose to believe. Some of you, I don't want to say all of you, or majority of you, that is upon you all to decide now. All we're doing is presenting the information, and now you have the ability to assess what you're actually facing and what you're saying that you're celebrating. Are you emancipated? Because there's a lot of people, right, that like to play, that like to say that they're African and they're very strong about black power and all of that, and word, right? But this is not black Attachment state, which means it have a, a language, it have a, a, a way call it a, um, a constitution. It have a constitution attached to it. You follow. It have ways that you supposed to live, laws and bylaws, guidelines, right? So if it is that you want to be emancipated or you like the idea of being actually free, then you need to come back to your identity. You need to do the things that that belong to your nation, right? Give me the Isaiah 30, Babu Gosha. Give me the book of Isaiah 30 and verse 1. Babu Gosha. Woe to the children. The rebellious children, the stiff necked children, the hard headed children. Go ahead. Saying the Mosai mm -hmm. that take counsel, but not of me. Pause right there. Who told you that you were African? Who told you that you emancipated? Where did this idea come from? Who told you that? Let's see. Okay, so let's go into emancipation. Where is it? One second, Dr. Shah. Yes. A little technical difficulty. We don't have a question in the meantime. And that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit. Right, so you so them that lead you causing you to destruction, you tell here showing you exactly where you come from and the things that you would have faced and the things that you do face because of living off your culture, living off your heritage. And we and evidently you just proved there that the people that are leading you right now, the so called black leaders and the kid Rowley and all these different people and they leading you to error because you start off emancipated, which is a lie, and you are not. Right? We don't, Baba Kusha. That they may add sin to sin. Right? Because all they cause you to do, right, by believing that you're free, everything that you would participate in, you understand, you would go and sin. Not only do you take on the culture of another, another people, right? Along with the culture of other people, they have things that they do which is against the scriptures because they don't follow laws that was given to you. Right? The, the laws are supposed to be the guidelines for, for proper living on the face of the earth. 
You don't follow that. So one, you definitely will be seven. We don't, Babakusha. That walk to go down into Egypt uh -huh. and have not asked at my mouth. Okay. What we like to say? What black people like to call this? They like to call this what? Black people, what do they like to call this? African. Africans. And, and particular particular things. Trinidadian, Egyptian, they, they familiarize itself with that type, with that type of identity. They ask anybody today. But where they learn that from though? How come the pastors never tell them well, you teach your nice in any Bible? How come they never tell them well, you, you know what I mean? Look, this is exactly what you all used to do. Right? And coming up forward here, this is what our grandparents and them tell us coming and passing down the line that was supposed to be taught, right? But they ain't saying that. So, so how come it okay? You understand to not teach beyond five hundred years ago? How, how come that, that? How come that becomes something common? I will, I will take offense. You know, I mean, if, imagine if I, you understand, is, is a family, um, a royal heir to be a zillionaire, a trillionaire somewhere, right? And they say, and they cut me off, as as the scripture was saying in in, in Psalm thirty three, they cut me off from from being a nation, from build, from getting the things that belong to me. How would I understand? How would I would I operate if I even find out that that man you understand shook me away from that? How would I operate? Oh, any person. All right. How does he? How does the the, the so-called white man you understand the oppressor? How he does operate when they try to do that for him? When they try to take away his American flag and all these different things? What did he do? Recently, oh gosh, this one this one's the worst stuff. What did he do? He make war, right? Oh, how he does that though? Like a recent example, storm, storm. storm the capital, try to overthrow the government. Black man, we're not advocating for nobody to go and try to throw body white house and I mean the, the red house and burn it down. We're not saying that. If all about why do you agree with liars? Why do you agree with people? You understand that take away your ideas, follow your, your ability now to really and truly live and develop and. Yes, sir. Right? Why do you agree with persons like that? You follow? Why do you take why do you, why do you take counsel from men that, that don't want them making sure that you don't get in a sense the things that don't belong to you? Mm -hmm. That is a question I like anybody answer. Well, what's the what's the mind says, right? What's the what's the what's the um, what's the idea behind that? About just disagreeing with anything that you know that that, that seem that seem viable, you know. When I am looking it up, there's the next day to celebrate. And then what? Because so much years they do not know. It has to be somebody inside that fed up. It has to be somebody that's saying, nah, something wrong here. You know what I mean? Like, why why are we doing this even? What is what is come out of this? Right? What I say, yeah, Right? Somebody had to be fed up. Somebody had to say, well, take stock, right? You know what I mean? Because every comment, right? And then somebody in, in at the beginning, I because they say the, the, the people who are running it now, they get a body of other people on them. What, what, what are you doing it for? If you are not cut again, you understand? Like I say, don't you see no way financially? Or some black or some contract or something like that. Why are you doing it? For what's it? Give me a second. Oh, I understood, right? We don't know the um, idea about Bukisha today. Not, let's not jump to. Jump into verse. Seven Baba Gusha. Book of Isaiah 30 and mm -hmm. 7. Right. For the Egyptians shall help in vain. Right. So where I'm where Marcus Gavi and them, you know what I mean? That the, the things that them they push for. Why is it not materialized? They like to push for Africa and all of that, but where is the help? Anybody can tell me in the last 20 years, at least the last recent 20 years. Where is their actual support? Let me let me do some some measurement now. We're taking we turn it down a little bit. Let me do some measurement. 
Let me actually do some, 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 what you call it, some breaking down. Let me assess, let me do some assessment now in terms of the actual health for the last 20 years. How is Egypt, you understand? The, the Egyptians or the, you know, the Africans and the, where's the health? Where's the ethos? What have they contributed? They follow to make sure that the so-called black man, that the person, you understand, all this gun violence in America, when the crack ep epidemic was happening and all of that, why they wasn't inviting all the superstars and at that time to come and get aid? You got to come back and fix your communities. You do some assessment on that. Where was they that time? Non-evident, non right? You, you just, what, what vein mean? Anybody? What is the definition of vein? Who is the help? Uh, you know what I mean? All of us one with dark people, and some with dark skin, dead. with African, right? When my tribe, you know what I mean? Where, where the support that would need from a tribe then to come and build up my communities. Where is it? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. Bain, from the Merriam Webster Dictionary mm -hmm. to, to no end without success or result. Mm -hmm. That's one, right? Answer. Um, in an irrelevant or blasphemous manner. Mm -hmm. Having or showing undue or excessive pride in one's appearance or achievement, mm -hmm. marked by by fertility or influence. Mm -hmm. right, having no real value. Sorry. Baba Kasha, give me give me the last one again. Baba Kasha. Um, three. Having no real value. Having no real value. It's just useless. They help in vain, and we can we can show we can show the evidence of that. So why would I attach myself to a culture that I'm supposed to be belonging to? That's supposed to give me freedom then. When with freedom now, they say, a free from legal, social, and whatever other things are supposed to be liberated, right? So why would I attach myself to anything they follow that doesn't give me real value? When I do the assessment, the concrete assessment, and I look at the numbers, and I look at the history, I don't see no help from these Egyptians, from these Africans, you understand? From the Chinese and all these different people and them. I suppose, sir, which means that my people are supposed to be on the up and up. Yeah, yeah. So actually, I've got, a, I've got an example of that recently. Mm -hmm. Um, this this fight that are doing in the um, US UFC is he's a Nigerian. I think he's living in either Ireland or New Zealand or one of them. Right. But basically, when he win the belt, mm -hmm. he went back. He ain't come in the Caribbean. He ain't going to America. Right. Went back to Nigeria. Right. And he's setting up a program across the. Mm -hmm. Through the next generation of fighters, thank yeah, you very much. Obama and all too, right? Doing the same thing in, in investing in um, right in uh, African NBA, right? Uh, in Africa, yeah. but Kisha, give me that again. Who name we call Obama? Who, who? Obama, but again, Baba Kisha? Obama. Obama, the black pope. Yeah. <laughs> you understand? The thought was black, yeah. Same thing with Kamala so Harris, he, he ain't invested in America. Oh, oh, in the Caribbean, in that. oh the they have been in vain. So let me say, right? Let me say it was an equal exchange that these superstars and buying into and thinking. Can't say, yeah? Yeah, um, just add a real piece of barrier saying there and all too. Mm -hmm. If you look at even right here in Trinidad, right? Where right. you gonna come and you make all the money. Ah boy. You can turn right back to Africa. Right. You understand? I'm gonna do a little bit more history, even on the the um, black caucus movement. The mm -hmm. people set up yourself, take the money for and then go right back where they come from. Cancer. You know, as always, on as always, you understand? Rob Dan's poorly going to that in a little bit too, right? Um, so these people and them they have an evident history, but even if that the black people, the black leaders and them that side with them, where's the returns on your investment? Because you're saying you follow that you're supporting them to get assistance to get assistance to come back here. Where is it? Where is the return on your investment? If that is the case, if all always one, if then you follow that you doing it for the benefit of your people so called because the same taxpayers money i ain't seeing you some investment that you have with some big business and you're scraping up all the money and then you're going to do that no you're going to take the same taxpayers money all the people that are scraping hard and working on all of that that's supposed to be for them to help their them their, their economy and their society their neighborhoods build it up with little we call it community centers and proper programs running right to make sure that they're educated and they're they well skilled to do things instead you know you do your take away the trade schools you're not right, Officer Barra. I think you tell me that, right? So you shut, you shut down one chair. Thank you. They're they not giving you the education, right? And Monto, if you wasn't a East Indian, you follow, you couldn't get into the, the, the hospital to them. They're going to do no practice. You have to make sure that they're going to prove a year for somewhere else to get admitted into there. By the time they was exposed, they was going to share. They were sharing all the 
conventions papers and all them different college papers and buying the way of the of the of the of the ladder. The following day they came across saying what 1845, right? So the people in that that so-called care, you understand, and the emancipation committee and all these leaders that are destroying the parts according to the scriptures, will follow. They know that we were here since 1600, right? Where is their pity for you? You understand? Care. Where is the, you know, coming up and saying, all right, these people in them, my people in them, need the innocent to, to really get a push forward. They definitely need it. Everybody else getting their share. People that come after and all getting theirs. You follow? Wherever they come from, and they have the whole pitch lake um, lease out. People in the library, if you see the road in the library, for them that ain't familiar, you follow? And the roads all over Trinidad, but especially the library, right, with the, right in front of the pitch lake. They come like a person, they follow and slap in everybody's face that living in the library. And the picture right there, the same place they're exporting all of our American, all them different places, and them again. Okay. Go to go ahead. So, Lappy, another thing too is the roads and them in the library and point is only fixed when black people protest, right? You know, is Correct. Protest. protest. And that's, that's if they feel and want to give them something yeah. after that. Well, you know what they're looking for? To, to tell them again that they're wrong for doing it. So, you're going to rape them, abuse them. And then you're telling them they're wrong, you understand, for coming and kicking up brass against it. You follow? And this oppressor, you understand, understand something that you're at war. That is the main purpose of this class there, if you don't understand. You're not emancipated, you're in bondage, you're a nation, you understand, in exile, a government, under, you understand, the, the, the unscrupulous mindsets and, and, and attributes and ways of our people that do not decide to change, that don't think, you understand, to even think about even trying to change in the next 10,000 centuries. They're not. That's not a belt, you follow? The belt on oppression. It's nothing else. You're not emancipated black man. You need to wake up out of that, you understand, that lie you're telling yourself that you're buying into. Let, you understand, let them who want to promise you all this garbage and all of that, all the, all the, the, the little money and the hamper this and the hamper that and all of that, you don't need that. Commanding generally, you understand? By the grace and mercy of the most high, have a place, you follow it always in existence for you, you understand, that proper leadership of accountability and a place that you can put your hands to and see the returns, you understand, or what it is that you that you want to, that you want to contribute to, which is the betterment of your people, which means, you understand, that at least you follow us to live until we rule. So now it's practice and training. Now it's training now to practice how to rule, how to govern and how to deal with the situation righteously on the face of the earth. You're not going to get it anywhere else because when I look, you understand, when we look at it, we look when we examine it, what going on with these people and them, we're not seeing it. They don't have a plan to do that. They never had a plan to do it. Which manifesto you know right now? You understand that ever come to pass? Which one of them? And when you look at it, if whatever they say they do, if it's that water plant here, water treatment there, look who this benefit from it. For the longest time, not you. Please, and you understand the dog, the dog face and all that, they don't care. They will never change, you understand? They'll never have a pity on black people. All right? Uh, read on Babakusha from the MDIZF to the, um, the, the verse 10 Babakusha. Which say to the seers, so like, yeah, give, me, um, give me nine, come nine, nine Babakusha. Right. That this is a rebellious people. A rebellious people, but to what, to what end? What are you rebelling against? The solution? You done? Lying children. Mm -hmm. Children that will not hear the law of the Lord. The Lord, the Lord, righteous. It have all the things in them in, in, inside it to make sure everybody can live. You follow to make sure everybody taken care of. That is what the Lord, the most high is. Perfect, righteous, you understand? We done, Baba Kusha? We say to the seers, mm -hmm. see not. To see to the men that see and You follow, we should not open the mouth about this. We should keep quiet. If one unless somebody get a small hand, but I will get to himself sometime. I hear the iron line in the guy is busy house. You understand? So don't see nothing. Why we open them out for by? Where they be talking about that for by? Why they be coming around it? You understand? They're making up, making up a pastor and all that because they're killing your brother. They're destroying your parts. You understand? They're raping your children. That is why we have to open them out. You follow? They're not stopping bringing guns and drugs in, in containers. Which one of us have that ability? They're not stopping doing it. So we have to see. We have to see and say. You mustn't, you ain't like it, you understand, whatever the case is, you must be like, you understand, prostitution and drugs and all of that, so we don't care because that, that destroying us. So we will, we will not stop seeing, we will not stop saying, you understand what I'm saying?
You don't know Babakusha? See you not. Mm -hmm. And to the prophets prophesied not unto us right things, mm -hmm. speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceits. For what? To lie to who? To make who feel good? Why should we, and the son, put you in the same trap and we inside of ourselves? That is what you want to do? No, no. That is what you want to hear? What, 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 what benefit, you understand, you could ever see? Think about it. If you're thinking further than your nose, what benefit you could see, you understand, in this space, continue to operate the way it is operating? But these government ministers and them coming on there and just, just lying, you understand, just coming in and buying time. They're selling dreams. That all they know to do to talk nice. What? What benefit is having it? You done, Baba Kisha? Get you out of the way. Get out of the way. Don't come and sell nothing on the, on the damn TV and the radio and thing and, and talk about these things and then come off the internet, go and get a job. This is our job to make sure that you are well taken care of. Big head. Because you won't do it for yourself, you understand? You won't come and get the knowledge to be able to run your house and them right. Because you want to be lazy. And then later on, face the consequences. Like they want to lie down in the hospital and suffer. Oh, God. God, you know, long God was trying to say, oh, oh, oh people, oh, people, ah, can listen now. Then, you, then you're in it for your own self. Then you want to know who do you something. And you want to blame the person who took in frog and feel and could hold them have some kind of power. You want to blame everything under the sun. But you ain't seeing gradually that this is where you're sowing into. You never take time to consider that. But you know what you wanted? Emancipation Day, Independence Day, a day to celebrate, a day to, you know, kick back and relax and drink something. And 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 you know what? You know you're thinking so small. Let me get let me benefit for my heat. You understand? Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me fool here. You understand? Let me get a little small thing for my heat. They here, they have money. They are my friend. You see them, them? You understand? They have money now. I deal with my friend and them. The Virgin today in the partnership and they get to with Martian and them fellas, them fellas as entertainers. They they pay to lie. They learn to lie well. You understand? Because you no know, all our vibe is committed and all of that. Then what after? Eh? After what? Don't be like them, you understand? They have no conscience. You don't have to have no conscience too. They they're making their money well. You see how long they can make the money for. I, I pray, and understand, they continue doing what they're doing, and let the East Indian and them benefit. Let all of them do it, and let's see what kind of outcome they'll get. But you, black man, you with your poor backside, you understand, you learn to come and see about yours. You follow, because the rich have, the rich do okay. The rich does oppress. You follow, all them know to do, you understand, is walk upon the, the little, the people that don't have no power and all that. You follow, them are not, them are not concerned with this. They don't see beyond their nose, but you feel, so you, you know. What it mean, you understand, for your people to be hungry, for yourself to be hungry, to not be able to pay bills and all of that. You know what I like. You stop being, understand, buying to the people and lies, and learn to come and follow and, and love the truth. And come and face the hard road. You're already in the hard road. What are you looking for? You understand, don't get, don't get caught up. You don't, Baba Kusha? Turn aside, mm -hmm. out of the path, mm -hmm. cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. They, they want me to close God I for you. You're mad? <laughs> you understand? So, so, so that we can represent the most high. You want to be conscience free? You want to be your anti conscience clear? Nah. We'll make it guilty all day. All day. And all night. Until they stop. Let them who have no conscience, let them continue. The, 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 the Delta virus do not have a fantastic job, a bang up job. The most high is a real boss. That is the man who control and some weapons are warfare and thing. You feel you feel missile and God and thing is, is a real thing and you hype up with an um, automatic machine gun that have a cooling system and you feel like well buying on top of the world. The most I just shut down the place with one little small virus and it's shedding and spreading quick. It can multiply like you want to know how come. How come it, it has a bad over here and it has the, the plus 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 over there? <laughs> you want to know, you want to check it, you want to try and fix it. How I can fix it? Can you fix that? <laughs> Yeah, you can't fight with the both side. Who wrote you, eh? <laughs> you getting kicks? I like come up for that shit for this. You done, Baba Kisha? Wherefore, thus saying the Holy One of Israel, mm -hmm. because he despised this world, mm -hmm. oppression, mm -hmm. and mm. and stay thereon. Uh -huh. Therefore, this iniquity shall be 
as a bridge mm -hmm. ready to fall, swelling out in a high wall mm -hmm. whose breaking cometh suddenly at an instant. Oh, also, let's talk now. Also, go live forever. You want that? You want that? build a big, big Majuba house, <laughs> a big, big house, a big lavish like house, right? That build on much green. So, you picture this big, big house, big, nice concrete house. And it, and it, and it, and it built on, on strikes and matches. Them good matches on them in the, in the box. And that's the legs. That's the, that's the foundation on it. That ready to fall. So okay, kicks. The delta variant and all these different things is proof. That should show you, you follow that this system paying for the, the crimes that it have done. Right? But they say we're free, right? Emancipation supposed to be, you know? And the time that, um, that, that, that marking the day that we was free. Right? Let me go into that a little bit. Where is my... 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 Okay. What do you think there? Where is it at? Right, Emancipation Day. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I'll just read from here not to say for, for time's sake, right? Emancipation Day. This is from the Nales website, right? So that's to show the people where I'm reading from. Nales, that's the library, um, the National Library, wherever, database, wherever, Information Systems Authority. That is the library at the, at the, of Trinidad and Tobago. Like, how would have one of them library, them famous library, and them named by whoever, professor, or in New York and wherever the case is. This is the one for the entire Trinidad Island, Trinidad and Tobago, right? Emancipation Day from their records. Introduction, the history of the new world since Columbus rediscovered it, is one of conquest, pillage, exploitation, and forced migration of our people. They missed out a couple of things like rape, you understand? Maiming, buggery, you know what I mean? Thievery, lynching, you know, a couple of things they missed out now, you know? They, 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 they probably happened to forget that all. You know, they probably wanted to, to make it look a little nice now. That, like, like the scripture was saying us now, you know, in smooth words, they would talk smooth words, but we would, all right? For more than three centuries, millions of people were forcibly transported from their homes in Africa. We, one thing we didn't, we wasn't living in Africa as, as residents or as people that belong to Africa. That is why they could have sell that line. What happened is we flee from, from Jerusalem into Africa. Baba Kusha, I have it in my bag here. But anybody had the Babylon to Timbuktu on them? We get out that portion, Baba Kusha, just now. The, the same portion, I think, is page 84, second paragraph. In, in my in my bag, it have a yeah? Um, for more than three centuries, millions of people were forcibly transported from their homes in Africa, across the perilous Atlantic Ocean to the New World, where they were forced to labor on sugar plantations for the rest of their lives. This enslavement of our people continued until events in Europe changed the fortunes of the West Indian and North American colonies, make them rich as hell. Right, <clears throat> humanitarians started questioning the validity of slavery. Here they saying humanitarians like that. That that make a change. When does the humanity? Where the humanitarians right now in the Beatum <laughs> and in John John? You know what I mean? In Compton, all the places and in Long Beach, in follow in, in New York, where all the all the gun violence happening with one another, and all these police and um, brutal killings and them. For the, the, the crater guns that jumping off in Chicago, right? Where, where the humanitarians and them they, where they force and as if they had if they had all this power, you might not the change that was the, the, this entire system built on the cotton plantations. They followed all the banks and all the lavish, all the Wall Street the traded commodity was slaves. The humanitarians had all the power. So it is today. <laughs> Somebody with the magic wand, they follow where the where the, uh, where, the where the secret come on, where the, where the lamp. With the genie, you understand? Know, to, to, to bring a humanitarian to, to solve all the problems. That is just to show you that what they're talking is BS, is utter garbage, is lies. There was no blast. Human, humanitarians are changed nothing. 
right? We are getting to that just now. Humanitarians started questioning the validity of slavery, like it wasn't valid, but it was economically prosperous. It was not valid. Garbage, the talking garbage, right? There was competition from best sugar producers in Europe and the advent of the Industrial Revolution spawned the rise of a new group of influential men in the British Parliament who believed that slavery was no longer economic, economically viable, right? Look at the um, look at the, the timeline for this, though, right? Look for the timeline. In the next paragraph, it's document 1833. But now, let us see why it wasn't so economically... Um, was the real reason why it wasn't so economically bad, right? Is this article here. Which one of them? <clears throat> Let's see when it starts from E2 to E2. Where is it? Is it this one? Let me see. Let me see. Where is it? Could be Wikipedia. This is a Wikipedia article and slave insurance. In Slave insurance in the United States became an increasingly significant industry after the act prohibiting importation of slaves, a federal law which took effect in 1808, prevented any new slaves from being imported to the U.S. Existing slaves, especially skilled workers, therefore became more valuable and were often rented out to businesses, slave owners, insured against the death or loss of these rented out slaves. Industries which rented insured, um, insured skilled slaves from their owners included blacksmithing, carpentry, railroad construction, coal mining, and steamboat operations. And insured rented slaves also included firemen and cooks. Chinese slaves called coolies were also insured. I'm adding that. The subject of slave insurance in the United States has become a matter of historical and legislative interest. In the history of slavery in the United States, a number of insurance companies wrote policies insuring slave owners against the loss, damage, or death of their slaves. The fact that, that, that a number of insurance continue, the businesses that service these policies have brought attention to this history. Pay attention to that. First things first. In 1808, when they started legislated now to make it um, illegal, so-called, to bring in slaves, is because of that time where the, the, the South was having more dust in history, and we know this, right? Or we'll bring it out in another class, or we'll probably put another class in the comments or something showing you that history where the South was getting too much power, and the North, right? Because what are talking about here is in Virginia, up North side, right? So the South was getting too much power and, and having slaves, so what they did, what they not try to do is to be able to not to give them too much power over them. They instituted things like these and so-called humanitarian interests. When really and truly all it was was a power play. It wasn't viable for their economy because they would lose and the South would take over if they didn't do something like that. It wasn't because they were feeling no pity. It wasn't because they didn't want to stop bringing all them slaves and them across. Remember, we had, they already had slave farms across here. This is the 1800s we're talking about. They have 200 years ahead started because it's 1600, 16 something, the beginning of the 1600s, 1611, somewhere around there. No, 16, uh, 1600s, right? When they started bringing across slaves across here, they don't have 200, 200 year head start already. What they're not adding in here, the words that they leave out, the nice comfort words, you know, that they like to hear and it looking so nice that these things wasn't, was not, wasn't the case. They already was in Britain and had a big slave farm. You can look it up in the history in Virginia already. By that time, they don't have so much slaves already in the north. You follow? And certain places in the south. I care, you understand, help the south get bigger because remember, they're already mining on a different level. Right? And they have the room, they had the land, the farm land to do it. So now, when I, when I do have, you understand, um, farm land in the, in, the, in the north, and I start the industry, remember the industrial revolution, so they start to change up the way things do. And they move over and into, into more mechanics, into more factories and all that. I don't have land, I don't have field, cotton fields, you understand, like the south. I have more land. To bring more slaves so now i'm going to try to stop the flow of income you follow so now i cut on that and i put this <laughs> this insurance policy in place or this this thing in place so that now it'll be so much money to ensure one slave i wouldn't want to bring you no know, slave you know what i mean so now i put it on insured slaves and 
of it. Is this one way? In one of the articles, I'm showing you know, how many and sometimes the slaves was insured even higher than white people. That is the type of value. That is the kind of money you're talking about here. That is how this place built. If all of a sudden, it was no humanitarian nothing. As, as today it is, it's always a power play and always about money. Always about money and power in this in this whole construction of everything. It wasn't because you wasn't so-called emancipated or let go from the slave plantations into the industrial revolution at today, right? Slave as well, right? Why they stopped the brutality of slavery, of chapter slavery, I would say. It wasn't that. You're not an eman emancipated black man. Don't you go ahead? Yes, I'm not here. Mm -hmm. It's a funny, um, if, you, if, you, if you have a dog and you want to take a dog and you bring it around your home, mm -hmm. and you want it to have scraps, you get a lot of fat on your back. Right. And eventually you wouldn't want to go back. It might be from Geneva, Geneva yard. Mm -hmm. You get a lot of scraps here, you get a lot of fat on your back, you want to stay here. And it's the same thing they do to we as a nation, basically. Mm -hmm. Then it's cheaper not to feed me. Now you're hungry, so you had to come and move by me for next to nothing. Right. Yeah, and yet you have no funds, resources, you know, you're, you're, you're mentally destroyed, you just remain wherever the poor, and yes, mm -hmm. work until until you die and you the same thing. Mm -hmm. So they know that that's you very much. why you work that and that strategy, you know, it's cheaper. Correct. And all it is is just play. To make it for me that, that now you're in a better condition. Yeah. No? It is better for their pocket. Yeah. <laughs> if all is less work. Yeah, you know what I mean? Thing, yeah. Correct. And I, I could I could get you working, you follow. Um and continue to to, to, to what you call it to sustain what it is I have coming in. Right? And then if then this then the north it have to be more powerful. I mean the south it have to be more powerful than the north. So the, the oppressor them they they okay. Right? But if they thought that that and all would save them, they lie. Because all you have to understand is understand where you fit in and the lies that they try to sell you about emancipation and freedom, right? And you have so much liberty and so much things that are that are actually what do you call it available to you. You understand to build up yourself and your communities. That is a lie. That ain't the truth. You understand? So that is what the ISPK and that command in general Yana is set up to do under the more. The most I is, is this is the tool you understand to help you understand the reality of the situations that are going on today. So for black man, Hispanic man, native Indian man, right? Uh, we, the family has just a single lot. Of right. course, it's just a big nation. Cancel. It's called the Sinai Native of Hawaii. Correct. It's scattered all over and he was enslaved. Cancel. And he's still enslaved in mentally because of the Christian church. Cancel. I'm right. So I just want to read an um, article here in China that this was the Proclamation right. on the abolition of slavery. Let's, let's be close to seven. Cancer, go ahead. That one proclamation, but I just want to read this particular part. Cancer. It says that that note, the abolition of slavery does not declare them from all, does not, does not declare them from or from the performance of duties to those who are to be their employers mm -hmm. and that they are not to quit. The estates of their present master mm. who are to become their employers. Mm. Again, now I will say in the school we go into slave. Cancer. Yeah, right. Like employers, no, it's it's the slave masters. Master, no. Cancer. Right? That, that's a one more sentence. But all commission. Mm -hmm. So so you, um so you're not supposed to leave the estate mm. from your employers, also known as the slave master, with all commission. Right. Except about the church or to the market. By mm. Look, so like yeah, you say again, but because what's the last part? Except about the church, you can't leave. Huh. Yeah, then the plantation then. Right. Except it's about the church or to the market. Good night. Yeah. What do you do today? Same exact thing. And that was that was yeah. by law. That is how this this is how this system um set up. So I guess and this is this is from this is from what part? Now, the proclamation on the abolition of good system. good night. This is right here in, in Little Trinidad and the sweet Little Trinidad and Tobago, you see, cosmopolitan place. This is what the same people I mean, like the hog up with and line up with with carnival and feel all all his friends. That was the law. That your slave master, like you know that I in charge of you. That I, I control you, and as I own you. He feels he's your God. Yeah, of course, you know, the Christian children are having some Stockholm syndrome. Cancer. We are not falling in love with the slave master. Cancer. 
fall in love with their quality and beliefs. Right. And we just sit in. So we will remain in slavery. Mm -hmm. And we just continue. That way in, in the book. I will put our next one in the Old Testament. I can't remember. Mm -hmm. The book of Judith. Right. I'm right. That's right. That's right. That's it. Yeah, right. cancel for sure. Yeah, but we'll that. that is a heavy point you bring out there. Because that is, that, is what, that is what you learn, you follow? Why it is you in the same condition is because that your slave master taught you that to be that in there. To, 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 to sin against the most high. Because once you know this, you would never be free. Never ever, you understand? You would never even think to know what, boy, what, what rulership does look like. That, that is beyond people's mind today. Your, 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 your slave master, you're saying just the man... What what the year that was sir? the uh, the the, pro, the pro, uh, proclamation of emancipation? That was just when before the emancipation. Hmm. Very. Good. Yeah, that. But what, what did you the book of Judith, chapter 20. Answer. Right. Now, therefore, my Lord and Governor, mm -hmm. if there be any error against this people, it's like it's a start from verse 17 and then jump to verse 20. Mm -hmm. The book of Judith, chapter 5 and verse 17. Yes, sir. And wives, they sin not. Before their power, mm -hmm. they prospered. Again, they what? They prospered. Right. Because the most high that he left that he he yeah. left iniquity. It's like he hated. Hated iniquity uh -huh. was with them. Right. The most high that he hated iniquity, you understand, was with us. Why we don't sin? That is what your slave master make sure to do. So you have no protection. All right, verse 20, Baba Kisha. Verse 20. Mm -hmm. Now, therefore, my Lord and Governor, mm -hmm. if there be any error against this people, in this people, Salak, yeah? Right? And they sin against their God, mm -hmm. let us consider that this shall be their ruin. Their what? Their ruin. Answer. And let us go up, and we shall overcome them. Mm -hmm. Verse 21. Mm -hmm. But if there be no iniquity in their nation, mm -hmm. let my Lord now pass by, lest the Lord defend them, mm -hmm. and their God be for them, and we become a reproach before all the world. Well, boy, sign line the tell upon the description here, and I see how whenever the Delta variant and how it mash up Europe and all them different places and them. And I'll show it have some righteous men on the earth and some righteous men. If all of the Lord giving you a little taste of what could happen if you obey him. And what you do to your enemies, you understand? Them that rape and rob and murder and, and kill and enslave and, and, and make sure that the wages, you understand? You could never see the light of day. You could never see your head above water. You always struggling with bills. You follow? The most I make and sure and show you a little, a little taste of what could happen and if you obey him. And if you, if, if, when you were chill, you understand? Cancer, that was heavy to water, sir. It's like we be cow, we love for the cousin church. Cancer, and then them beans and I'm oppressed every so week. That I smoke drugs, they don't feel too stressed now. Right. Drink so much alcohol until we get drunk. Right. For the cow, we love for the manager of the hand. I know, as they say, come in school. That's right, cancer. You do the right thing. I'm right. You have a you have a heaven, that's what the officer saying. You have a place, there is a solution for you to come out of that. For you to even get assistance, you understand, to come off the drugs and brothers the police here, you understand, and work with you, you know I mean, and be that big brother for you. Same thing with the sisters, you know what I mean, have men that over here that, that could counsel you, you understand, no matter where you've been through, where you've been forced to go through and all these different things, there is the solution, we have evidence of that. That everything inside of here, you know what I mean, just, you just ain't, you know what I mean, or don't believe that there's leadership for black people, there is, there is people that care about black people here, and they're in the ISPK. I mean, we had to just give yourself a chance. Give yourself a chance. But as an MD, we did it. And we're glad we're real happy we take that chance. Go ahead, Warrior. Go ahead. Yeah, just to add to um, what Officer Calaman was saying with the time that the 
and the tenure will come out to church and mm -hmm. talk with Professor Arm. So, what? so what the real right basically you know you're to church, mm -hmm. you go in the Christian church, right? They encouraging you in eating things like pork, that's right, ham and things during Christmas time. So you're sinning. Correct. Mm -hmm. You're going the, the, the Rastafarian, they encourage you to smoke in. So Correct. Correct. You're going the Muslim mosque, they encourage you to worship in a soon. Correct. Like you're you sinning. Correct. So you're basically, they're sending you out to keep you in the sins. Damn it. That is itself a law. <laughs> it was by law. Yeah. They follow so they don't enshrine it inside your mind and make sure that that in that, that ingrained out here. So you grow that way. Mm -hmm. So you have to, you have to, you have to, you have to loose them bands and them out. Can stand? That is what it teaches you. Yes, sir. So, and again, as, as, uh, to top it off, these mm -hmm. are the ones who tell you that they might mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Exactly. They, they, they say you're free. <laughs> you understand? Yeah, but you're going, they just get a higher pay than you, brother. Know? Yeah. If well, they want to be a richer slave. Yeah. No, brother. Yeah. No, sister, you understand? Give yourself a chance, yo. And yeah. and the, the, the proclamation was written in July 12th, 18. July 12th, 1834. Then four of us, because. Right, cancer. Right, so I, I got two generations in past here. That was just now the other day. You follow? And that was law. That is how you live in here today. You're cussing that past in your mind right now. You're supposed to be so mad, eh? To say, boy, this mother's so and so, boy. Look at boy, this man. Leave me into now, boy. I come here and I send up plenty of people that really look for righteousness coming to the church to change now, boy. You know what I mean? Any bad man, you can ask him. Any man coming up the street. You think they follow the church now is a place well then that know them for some is a pocket they ain't going there. They might go by the mosque or somewhere else, you know what I mean? Looking for but you are staffing or some way. Let's start a change, you know what I mean? Thinking that there is an avenue, but that you follow is just an next trap that's set up by law, which was by law for you to continue to sin against the most high. And for you to not talk about the comeback. That is why it is fight. You know, then if you manage to see this class, you're real fortunate. Don't don't take that chance for granted, brother. You know what I mean? I just say that you don't know when you are time. You might say, well, boy, I, I had a real thing, I had a real thing to do. You know what I mean? I ain't probably having this whatever the case like. We don't care about all that. And, you know, the most I don't care whether we can get the most I. <laughs> we could dress up and, and, and show up for the most I and, and put on this and put on that and press the most I. You don't care about that. You know, there's only care that you come in alignment and now you get the things that you need. If all of you have a dress, because it says they did dress good in class, you don't have a dress. Your pants, you understand? Know, That's like a tree. You don't have a pants or whatever. Something can be arranged, you know what I mean? That's what we're about. You want no no state and tell you no shopping thing in here. They follow and thing and, and buy me and this, me and this team war in here. They fall and buy if I got to put on my gun and all kind of thing. Yes, you got to put on your gun because Lord allow you, you know, understand? So we can get the opportunity to come in and, and maybe you understand? Know, pull more brothers out of that because really and truly the, the, the system set up for all the brothers to continue to kill one another to make the poor, to make the rich richer. Offer drugs, they ain't gaining nothing else, they're taking away everything else from you. They are can't wash and all, they follow, they're watching you do that for time. So, somebody looking to take a thing, they're looking to put something in somebody's head, pray to that, or make sure things so terrible that anything you try to come up by yourself, they follow, they're looking to crush you down. But you have a whole military system, brother. They follow, and what you, the most important thing you have to get on your side is the most high power. They have to get here approval, you understand, and learn to think how you just think. If you land, you're going to be free then. Then you're going to really be free. Then you're going to really be emancipated. Before, you understand, you'll be emancipated in trading and then eventually to rule the planet. To be part of the ruling class, the upper class that know how to have a, com a compassion. Learn how to have some morality, you understand? Some, some dignity about itself. Yeah? And them things that we was never taught that. This this world making sure you never learn that as the brothers know we didn't in, in Judith 5. If no one to sin against the most in any way, shape, or form, that is a free word. You will be understand, you could be destroyed. Yeah? Um, Give me, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I can have that one. Sure. Steve and Sean. Can, sir. Uh, I can remember the article I was reading the truth. Mm -hmm. When Steve was abolished, right. the white man get paid for losing his state. Then, yeah. Yes, it, 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 he would, he would get, he would get, um, they call it the premium or the payment from the insurance for the loss, mm -hmm. for the loss of uh, uh, sleeves. Mm -hmm. Well, well, that should have done and all that now, but he did get that as well. Yeah, then and, and imagine that, right? They, hmm. All of these different things they put in system, just as they do, they do it today. All of the insurance policies. Now the insurance and a slave. I seen one of them was five hundred. Some of them slaves was twelve hundred and fifteen hundred according to the size of the brother. You know, but imagine you getting money you follow from 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 TV yeah. because no matter how you pay, it, always you spend it. You tip the people. <laughs> 
You know, and I know some that you raise and grow and they like a cattle or something that they people really teeth and rough and rape and all kind of thing. And they and their mind they feel like you know, like this this go to me now. I have an insurance policy on a man and I follow. Come now, man. You tell yourself, and not to say, well, okay, this is a, a servant. They follow that under me, and I rule and nobody's people are doing right by them. Eh? Not that eh? you understand, you make a sleep in, 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 in birth and make sure you understand all your wounds in them because you, 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 you overbeaten it. Eh? So all your wounds exposed, and again, you understand, gangrene and all kind of different things. You ain't cheating your soul. If you ain't touch, you understand, you're after, which is very impossible, which is highly unlikely. You ain't touch, you understand, your private parts. You're gonna, you're gonna whip you, you're gonna make sure you destroy you. That is the mind and the scandal beast that we under. You worry about it? Yeah, so back here. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. It's about the things, things in, in change, even today, like how we just sleep. Right. Most are like on them projects on them. There's right. been in the US. Right. And there's an ex mm -hmm. by a name. Right. Because even a virgin went offshore, say, mm -hmm. after you see a document, a DP document, paid in the US, ex. Mm -hmm. And when you when he gain Y, he understand. Thank you. Thank you. He gain TT. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Correct, that's right. And that is the kind of scheme you're talking about. But that is the mind of this man. This man not about fear, listen. <laughs> he not about pain. Yeah, just wait. And the most I hate, you understand? A false balance. He love a false balance. He love it. He love it too bad. Every way, shape, or form, he just can't tell you already. He just live by the sword. Yeah, no, yeah, nothing coming good for my man. Live by the sword. Maybe that one of them, you follow that, that, that mind, that, that end up escaping, you understand, the, the mentality or, or, the, or the teachings, you understand, of how to be a good oppressor, <laughs> you follow, that, that they make up for the rest, because the, the, the one of them, the whole the humanitarian system, one of them, if, if it have 100,000 good humanitarians, where, where are they? <laughs> where is? Where is the negatives now, you follow? Where is the system? They're supposed to be working and just contributing to making sure that by all the things that black like, people fears, we, we gain them back something. Like all of them supposed to be doing. If they see humanitarian. But humanitarian, they work in an office, no way for, um, for no insurance and them kind of thing. They just work on fill up documents and go and work on the side. When the Christians and them, they like to do that, but they have that for humanity and all the place on them, right? Uh, at least they might call one of them institutions that I saw working. I ain't looking for names, but I see how they operate. They're going to fix this house and this and that and the other and all of that. They gain from them from somewhere, right? So why it is that all people that destroy, they ain't for that money, they ain't for humanitarian. <laughs> I put your liars in photo. I just want to look in his arm. I want to feel like you're doing something good. You're not talking about that? You worry about it? Yeah, I'm so lucky. I'm just going to add to what you're saying. Mm -hmm. uh, even a lot of people don't know what places like uh, the like Hampi habitat for uh, humanity. humanity. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't know that the, the people are sort of actually pay back. Uh, they're even like alone. So it's like that. they are crap. Good night. Yeah, so it's people actually have to pay back. Wait. So this, they, they said habitat for humanity, which means a home for humanity, you follow? And now the people under you're supposed to be helping is alone. <laughs> so with that, you know what I mean? They don't make no money, they don't, you know, all the contributions they get with that. I, I see the money as well. <laughs> you see how you see how the oppressor the devil the Bible speaks of? You see how he's disgusting? Because all the money, Jeff Bezos and all of them, with all the tax base that they know how to evade tax good. It may have nothing to come up. Was it not a cent, not a red penny? These people are the enemy. You had war. People them don't care about you. They're not going to kill you at any second. They, they wish they could walk in as they live in all, all the flesh of your bones like they used to do in slavery. They wish they could do that. Why oh, think in Amazon? How much people in Amazon that does, does collapse service ever so often because of the, the amount of time they, they work in? And your business is one of the richest man in the world. If all I see on the rich and you see how the rich of this world is thing? Go ahead. So you want to be you want to be on the emancipation committee, <laughs> or you want to really and truly be free, really, really and truly. Think about it, brothers and sisters. Very free. Up to you. I like going to this this little um, this little document here, slave insurance, right? Slave insurance involves a contract between a policyholder and an insurance company, in which the insurer promises to pay a sum of money upon death upon the death sorry of an enslaved person. And the three. But wait now, but what's the difference to do? <laughs> All of you working as slavery, you follow? Some kind of slavery is the same damn thing. There's wicked any words pity. So if you if you told then you was a free person. Yeah, um, sorry to break, sorry to wait, but sorry to um sorry to disappoint you. <laughs> you understand? Yeah, yeah, next slave as well. It's the same thing. That's how it was, that's how it was, it was voted. They follow and the, but I now read it. 
you don't you don't come out the way you can leave the plantation unless it's to go to church <laughs> or somewhere else you know what i mean <laughs> if all of the same damn thing they make it pretty hours and you thought that you was living in london you thought you know it was good so if you then you like you want to tell yourself you know what i mean i'm going to with this you know yourself right you go well you go well in ahead you know what i mean but for the brother and sister that would sigh and cry for all the abomination done in the city this is your home this is the home of the truth this is where you belong according to the most high not even me i don't control that the most i say that you put an angel to go to the city and put the mark you understand put the, put the words in their mind of the men that sigh and cry for the abominations in the city that sigh and cry for the abominations done in the city brothers and sisters all right so let go back to the article here, right? So, in the three decades leading up to the American Civil War, that is what we are now talking about it with the South and the, and the North. And why, you understand, these things was put in place to not give the South so much advantage. Read that of Babu Kesha, which means please, right? 1861 to 1865. Such, lucky, right? such policies became widespread in southern states, in Virginia, in Virginia, sorry, the Baltimore Life Insurance Company of Maryland and the later Virginia Life Insurance Company sold insurance to slaveholders who were worried about their, the potential deaths of enslaved people performing particularly valuable work, such as blacksmithing, carpentry, and household duties, or dangerous work, such as factories and mines, railroads, right? Or steamboats, you think it can blow up and think it collapse in you know, all the different specialty jobs, like how plenty brothers, you know, being it, um, so next to so experiences that we get, they go out there and, you know, some kind of gas thing block, you know, basically you go on. Right, but you know some, anyway, let me get into this. <laughs> but you don't see, you know, it's not the, the high insurance premium, or not the premium, the high insurance, we call the documentation for if anything happened to a brother. You don't usually see that. You know what I mean? When, you, when you're going to fill out, fill out your paperwork. But you're going I almost sure that that money you follow that the insurer that the insurer paying, not that the that the employer paying the insurer is in US dollars. That collect what US dollars. But I almost sure that you will get a smidgen of that entity if any at all. If they was able to say, well, boy, this is your fault. Oh gosh, <laughs> he, he, he he pocket rich and he don't even smile. He don't he don't you know he don't even butter eyelid. I don't even you know bother him at night at somebody you know that working for him. And contribute to make them they're gonna make probably a hundred thousand uh or you understand or wait or a hundred thousand a day us dollars right that is die on my watch now nah, he, he gonna suntan on the on top of the boat <laughs> after he doesn't and go swim yeah there's another negro there there's another slave die small thing that's how they think eh? because remember this knowledge was passed on to them this was 1865 not too long ago that then that then that just erase out of your mind and they know the American Civil War very well. They know the history very well. They know what it was about. But you don't know, though, because they're telling you emancipated, right? All right. We don't know. Virginia Life Insurance Company sold insurance to slaveholders who were worried about the potential deaths of enslaved people performing, blah, blah, blah. Most policies were concentrated in urban areas, with few plantation owners seeking policies on their field hands. Why didn't they do that? Though? A few. Plantation owners, that is the people that with the MV feel that the industrial people in that is in the south, right? Why didn't they do that? If they was making so much money before and they are all them slaves, why would you not seek you understand know, insurance policy? Because remember they make it like they make it legal now. Why wouldn't you do that? They said I cut down the profits, like any business. Anything that started to take away from a profit, so I'm not seeing it as something viable to do. I will stop doing it. You follow? So it is always work with probably what I have already. I ain't go, you know, try to go into something that will put me into that. So it's just the common sense of putting it together, you know. And that is where you gotta look at this what this that is what they're not telling you in, in all the words. You gotta look for what they're not saying and actually what is the history behind all these different things in it. That is why the men in the ISPK is so valuable. You follow that is why the Lord has come, these men and them that come to serve him, so valuable to you, brother. You understand? Think about what kind of good graces you can be in the most high sight. When all this debt passing, all the Delta burial plus plus three plus five plus Lambada two, Lambada dance, salsa, <laughs> when all them things coming through. I would have won the most high power back in me, you understand? Covering me if I was, you know what I mean, in this time and age. I just saying, brother, it's up to you, sister, up to you. I would have won, you understand, the covering from the most high power. Right? 
in, in a few cases, people purchase policies as collateral toward manumissions. Let me look at that one time. Let me look at that pass at all. Let me look at that real quick, right? Uh huh. I'll let somebody read it from me, right? Let me go. I think I see it. Let me know if you all see the um, you think properly now, right? Okay, you all see it, but it's short. You all see the um, definition here? Eh? Yeah, um, it's a manumission release from slavery. Cancer, all right. Back to the article, right? So, in a, in few, in a few cases, People purchase policies as collateral to toward toward the release of slaves, right? Or freedom of enslaved people. Hampered by a lack of research on slave mortality, companies tended to charge premiums on black lives at twice the value of those on white lives, as I was saying earlier on, right? And regularly reviewed the policies for changes in health or occupation. Right? So of course they go evaluated just like they do today, the same thing. Right, when they go and evaluate well, how healthy it is to decide, you know, how much premium you pay and how much you can pay off. You know what I mean? Like if you pay a million dollars and you have a high risk patient, you know, some insurance companies wouldn't take somebody according to the health situation that they have. You know what I mean? It just isn't profitable. So the same thing they're doing on the plantation, the same thing they're doing today. Ain't nothing changed. Just with a different or just deal with it a little different. Right? Baltimore life did not ensure enslaved people of their total value and prohibited more than one policy on a single person. Almost, which means they was probably doing it before. So you see how the slave master was thinking? As long as he could, he probably would used to do two and three on one. So imagine a family that they usually buy, right? If they if they put the family together and they split them up, right? Most like most of the time the father goes somewhere because it's a buck. Like 14 and 15 dollars, you understand? 16 dollars for a buck, right? But a family now, a woman maybe eight hundred dollars, the children of them, you know, according to my children, the young children according. Used to be, you know, probably around 600. Some of them are according to the age 1200 for a young boy, you know, all them different ranges. And that when they now put in together this life policy, you know, I want to pay 200 for five people, <laughs> I don't have to pay 200. So, so now remember, they wasn't doing proper research, as the article say. So, when they didn't proper research, now they get leaks. <laughs> but the state master making sure I try to cut a deal as best as possible. And I'm a partner, so I will talk sweet now. And you know, they done done connive and bastards already. So, you know, they talk sweet and you know. Make sure that um, when they go on our website now, they come and try to talk nice with everybody now. They usually this right? But I'm trying to get, you know, a, a, the best deal as possible, but they notice and they start to cut it down now, right? The way this they're doing. The same thing they do with life insurance policies today, right? Um, almost 60% of the company's policies between 1854 and 1860 covered slaves. Almost 60%. Of the entire innocent company policies covered slaves, not white people. So this sales was economically viable. It was it was big business. They followed to do this. And that is what you have today. They follow nothing in. And that's how they that is how they established the big um, empires and all that. No, seeing they get all them um we call this thing. The the um the payout now, the payout for the insurance. Why does they then say, well, okay, these people work so hard for them and build my here, my whole empire? Why does that not give them something towards the emancipation? How much people that have black people that have in Trinidad and Tobago? It's maybe 1.2 or 1.4 somewhere, right? Like, and half the population is black people, right? So how come you know how to get something, a little, a little something towards them? Where is the fund that contributed to them? I, I sure would remember they had, the Chinese had the association. So they had to build up business. So no, they have an economic structure to pass it down. And as I think Captain Mashak was bringing out in our class, sometime ago, about three years ago, something like that, right? He was breaking down the, with the emancipation class. Sir. You want three months in that class, right? And you're saying that these people don't give their, their, their own people a 10 year head start. So now, when you know Saddam of Scratch and trying to figure out how to do things and all of that, they already have 10 years ahead of you and just passing on the information and training them as they go along. Let's keep on cycling good business, goodness, good business owners. That's why you don't see um, Syrians and them in the, in the, in the, um, in college. In the colleges and them running down degree and all of that. You don't see them fighting up to do that because they're already getting passed down the information how to make you, to make sure that you qualify to work for their business. I say that from experience, I'm working for Syria. If I'm doing three jobs for one pay, that ain't so much neither. Almost as I'm breaking my back. Please be planning. When I, when, I, when I didn't know better. And as I'm in that Christian world, I ain't a serious about 
thinking in Azan that everybody's one. And they'll smile and laugh and all of that. And these Christians go to church too. And just like, let me see how dread them people is eh? The man needs to, the father needs to stay on the back just as the slave master would do a long time. Sit on the back of the church right there and he fully on his stuff right there and he watching to make sure the pastor teaching the slaves and them. They could, they could, they could say. Make sure they're teaching nothing more than they who he is and what he's supposed to do. And who the Lord really is. He's making sure he's still on the Same exact passion. You get a sway and as long as he's the man in the book and he just jump off the book and inside the church. <laughs> First a judge. Nothing changed and nothing the same exact spirit. Everything the same. Right? Hmm. And while we're on that topic now, right? Well, let me finish with it off this. But many of these policies being sold out of a rich man office, opened in 1854, the practice suggested a sophisticated understanding of how best to exploit capitalism toward the ends of making a profit on the enslavement of African Americans. They made sure they make that thing a science. That is what it is. So called black man, Hispanic man, Native Indian man. What you start to do now is look at their salary. Look at look at the trend. Look at how much the bank is making. If you working in the bank, look at the dividends and look how much they're making. You will see. And see how much of that has come to you and the benefits are associated with it. And see if this is not you know, another plantation. If you think you follow that, you're free. Because all you need, all you need to start to understand mm -hmm. to do is start to contribute to your people and come and build up your economic, your economic system. Come and contribute to that because what you're doing is just making it richer, so that they can impress, they can oppress you further and find out a more sophisticated way now to make their life hard and to squeeze out more profit. Yeah. Um, from there we go across to this article here. This is, I think I'll give it. I'll read it from my, from my phone, right? Um. Hmm. So this is a this is an article from 2011. Baba Kashi, right? So they're saying keep race out of criminal behavior. I just want to touch on one thing real quick, which is important to understand, right? They're saying in the, in the, in the article it's ridiculous for some public officials to opine, which means to conclude, right? That the only reason Trinbogonians were charged under the anti gang legislation was because they are black. Now I'll jump in this, this here and go to the third paragraph, right? Now they're saying the stark reality, which means the show or let me look up stuff. Right? But not to, not to be too, too extra. Let's see stark, right? Real quick. Stark. It's supposed to mean something serious now, right? So the stark or the severe, right? The severe reality, right, is that 99.9 percent .9 of the prison population in 2011, right, is made up of African Trinidadians, or so-called African, but all people. 99.9 percent. .9%. You see how amalgamated end up going up in the Sandy Islands and having all that money. How much years they running? If from um, how long they 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 in power? Anybody? How long am I? I know for all in order to fall in. How long am I going to be in business? I'm going to be in business. I really want to find that. Let me see what. I'm going to be in business. Let's get this. Right? I usually get fine. Something with the history real quick, right? Let's see who we are. It's, ah, look at here, man. Look at here. Look at right here. Established in, in 1983, right? Since 1983, and look at that, look how rich they become. Offer your 99.9% of that black people in the prison. Say again, Babu Kesha. Damn right. Give me the Isaiah 42 and 22, Babu Kesha. Isaiah 42 and 22? Mm-hmm. The book of Isaiah, chapter 42. And mm -hmm. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. Robbed and spoiled. As, as hell. <laughs> robbed and spoiled. Tell me you follow. <clears throat> Tell me what, what come along with emancipation again. Oh, <laughs> Any benefits? <laughs> I mean, what is it? Robbery without gun? <laughs> yeah, go to read it again, Babu Kesha. But this is the people robbed and spoiled. Mm -hmm. They are all of them snared in holes, mm -hmm. and they are hid in prison houses. Hid in where? Hid in prison houses. Ninety-nine point nine percent. 
hid in prison houses. You follow? And that is making them conglomerates, international multi-millionaires. And what, what are you teaching me, boy? Oh, where's, where's, where's the um, where the system in place, right? All the humanitarian and all of them, right? Where are their contributions towards solving that problem? That sounds like a, 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 a pandemic. What do you call it? Um, what do you call them thing again? Oh, gosh. Uh, uh, next word for pandemic, now. Uh, next word for pandemic. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> What's oh, so Cancel. Cancel. Correct. I'm right. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Lord and 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 Lord church and Lord and Lord and Lord or all I'm thinking, if, if this is the result that they're going if, and working for the plantation, then, then all I can learn from them is to be a wicked bastard. Right. A evil man, you understand? And sometimes it's not even that is the case, and sometimes it's because a woman don't think that, you understand? And that is she breaking a law again, too. You understand? Coming against the Mosai and his structure, right? Because she believed that the man could only have one wife, and because the man had one, he had two, three, you understand, woman. And he had different children. Now you want to say that he ain't paying child support and, and all kind of different trap. <laughs> and the man, you understand? And about 30% of the jail will be, will be stick up with brothers, you know what I mean? That, that some some evil woman that was taught by the Christian church, thank you, you understand? Pastor Jama, <laughs> Pastor Kofi and all of y'all, you understand? I see the job y'all did. Thank you for that, you understand? Don't worry. The most I will thank you as well, even better. You understand? That any of us can even think to thank you. Don't worry. Right, we don't know what mm -hmm. come, come. They are for free. Hmm. They are none delivered. The boy is boy. And none says restore. Oh. Hmm. Nobody saying that at all. So one to the emancipation emancipation committee. All these years are planning, you know what I mean? How long you are wrong thing. And you ain't saying, well, boy, these people have been preyed upon, you know what I mean? They've been spoiled. Never, never, never help the situation. Nothing. Who you emancipating? Your pocket. <laughs> you understand? Understand some. The leaders that lead you cause you to error black man, black man, Hispanic man, Hispanic woman, Latin, native Indian man, native Indian woman. You follow everybody else, you understand? Just want to pray and, and, and live off of you. Off of your destruction, actually. You never say, well, okay, they're making money and you're making some money on the side. You're being destroyed for them to eat, for them to live and buy the Bentley and the Mercedes Benz and all this garbage. Nobody pitching you, yo. You understand? Come on, come on, come on, come on, be a part of our family then, that nobody pity we. If all I am saying, you know what I mean, that we looking down on you and when we go pity and all them different things. And of course, once you family, you don't know who you look for family. Families look out for one another. That is all. Right. Yeah? And is that, all right? Um, that, that is the end of the scripture there, warrior? Yeah, that is the end of the scripture. Uh, yeah, with, all right, jump across to the Ezekiel 24, Baba Bishop. Uh huh. Starting from verse 2, Baba Kasha. The book of Ezekiel, chapter mm -hmm. 24, and verse 2. Go ahead. Son of man, mm -hmm. write thee the name of the day. Right. Even of this same day. Mm -hmm. The king of Babylon set himself against Jerusalem this same day. Right. Let's understand something. That the oppressor he set himself against Jerusalem, against the people of the Most High Power. They follow against the land, against the culture, against everything. This is war, you understand? This is what the scripture is saying here. Read on and you'll see. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. And utter a parable unto the rebellious house. Mm -hmm. Pastors and the followers, the Emancipation Committee, and all the liars that feed on people's lives. Go ahead. And say unto them, mm -hmm. Thus say the Lord God. Mm -hmm. Set on Salakia, set on a pot. You see what the most I just talk like a real gangster thing here? <laughs> Put on the fire for me. What's something? Read it. Read it on my Set it on. Mm -hmm. And also pour water into it. Yeah, so pour water in it. Let me show you what I'm going to do with this. Go ahead. With four. Mm -hmm. That are the pieces thereof into it. Mm -hmm. Even every good piece. 
But even every good piece, you while in it up now, you know what I mean? You're talking it up now. Look, uh, this is all going to do it up. You did, Brown Kisha? The thigh. Mm -hmm. The shoulder. The shoulder for everything in it. Go through. Fill it with the choice bones. Choice bones, you understand? Put everything nice in it. Remember that part, will it? Right, go ahead. Verse 5. Mm -hmm. Take the choice of the flock mm -hmm. and burn also the bones under it. Mm -hmm. And make it boil well. Make it boil well. Make it make it make it steamy. Go ahead. And let them steal the bones of it therein. Mm -hmm. You know. With six. Wherefore, thus say the Lord God, woe to the bloody city. Most I say, woe to the bloody city, destruction to the bloody city. Go ahead. To the pot whose scum is therein. To the pot who scum therein, you understand? All this philosophy and all this garbage and all the things that they have there, that is scum therein, all the, you understand? All them lying pastors and them on all the, the oppressors and them that doing all this wickedness, that is scum. You know, there's all this, the white man. Yeah, all this scum in a minute. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. And who scum is not born out of it. You understand? They didn't want no part. They didn't want to, no part with the change, but no, no part of cleaning up and changing the wicked ways. We done. Bring it out. Piece by piece. Well, piece by piece, go through. And let no luck fall upon it. Let no luck, not not miss. Go let not miss, go through. Mm -hmm. Verse 7. Mm -hmm. For her blood is in the midst of her. Her blood is in the midst of her. You understand how they live? Bam, bam, bam. Yeah. So, so your blood, you understand, could be upon you. Read on. She set it upon the top of a rock. Mm -hmm. She poured it on the ground. Mm -hmm. Cover it with dust. Like the priest and I'm in, in Leviticus, you know what I mean? When they do something to kill something, you know, you take it out to the side, as the Lord say, and right? pour it out and cover it with the dust. They ain't doing that, you know what I mean? They put it up high, like there's a sacrifice now. You understand? So they flaunt in our wickedness and we do it on top of hell. Let people know we'll be in charge then. You understand? Nothing to come and touch me, but we're real bad. You understand? I demand any person. Real bold face. We don't, Baba Kusha. Verse 8. Mm -hmm. That it might cause fury to come up to mm -hmm. save vengeance. Mm -hmm. I have set the blood upon the top of a rock. Since you want to play, you understand the real bad, I put your blood on the bar. I go make it a sacrifice. You don't. That it should not be covered. Mm -hmm. Was nine. Right. Therefore, thus say the Lord God, mm -hmm. woe to the bloody city. Mm -hmm. I will I will even make the fire of fire great. I'll make the fire of fire great. <laughs> you understand? That is, that is the most I call. Not the lying, you understand? Not the lying bastards. And I'm not what it is they're talking about in the church. That is the most high power. He's a man very poor, you understand? In terms of how you do things, you feel like, like you know, I mean, like a bad man, really, like you, you, you really and truly messed up now. You know, and a man swinging fair and he like, you know, this is what coming and do to you. You know, I mean, he locked the whole city, say, I want a corner of everything. Nobody's could pass, no way. Everything locked, you understand? So you're going to see you, you're coming and do you that. But man, that is how the most high to deal with things with situation. You see in Delta here, and you're thinking, boy, they say, yeah, dread boy, look, we're killing people, boy. But you know how long people look at doing wickedness, then? <laughs> you know how long? <laughs> and nothing, you know what I mean? It feels like it's that long thing, now. You know, so the most I say, well, let me, let me show you how I'm going to deal with something. So this is the warning, black man, black woman. You follow? All them past them, I don't know if they even have the common sense to even come off for that wickedness. And the most I even warn them, now. You follow? But all the wickedness and all the evil they do. I don't know, it's up to them. They can try, but I know you could just say they had to bring food, meat for repentance. <laughs> yeah? You don't know, Kesha? Verse 10. Keep on the wood. Mm -hmm. Kindle the fire. Mm -hmm. Consume the flesh. And the spice and, and spice it well. And spice it well, season it up well, you understand? I say, yeah, boy. <laughs> Most eyes are real bad man. You understand? Real tough. Go ahead. And let the bones be burned. Let the bones be burned. Go ahead. Next verse. Verse 11. Mm -hmm. Then set it empty upon the coals thereof, mm -hmm. that the brass of the mm -hmm. and may burn, mm -hmm. and that the filthiness of it may be molten in it, mm -hmm. that the scum of it may be consumed. Mm -hmm. Verse 12. Mm -hmm. She had wearing herself with lies. Oh gosh, old boy, emancipated. <laughs> You understand? We will take every free. You understand? Nah, God love everybody. But not, not in the Bible. You understand? The laws of God done away with that. Not in the Bible. You understand? Nah, um, we call it God say, you understand? To love everybody. God say, love everybody a choice. You understand? Nah, Christ love everybody. But not in the Bible. You don't, Baba Kusha. Mm -hmm.
and her great scum went not forth out of her. Mm -hmm. So scum shall be in the fire. Mm -hmm. Verse 13. Mm -hmm. In thy filthiness is lewdness. Lewdness. Uh, Watchman, I show when they go and see some African dance, how they go and dance <laughs> and jiggle up the bam bam all over the place. They follow lewdness. Time and nothing, 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 <laughs> nothing woman like or lady like in them. We don't, Baba Kisha. Because I have purged thee, mm -hmm. and thou was not purged, mm -hmm. thou shalt not be purged by filthiness anymore mm -hmm. till I have caused my fury to rest upon thee. Mm -hmm. Verse 14. We don't. I, the Lord, have spoken. Mm -hmm. It shall come to pass. Most I say, I say this. <laughs> it shall come to pass. We'll talk. Go ahead. And I will do it. Mm -hmm. I will not go back. See, by me holding my hand, I'm going to unleash. We done, Baba Kesha. Neither will I say. Mm -hmm. Neither will I repent. Definitely. According to thy ways mm -hmm. and according to thy doing, mm -hmm. shall they judge thee, mm -hmm. say the Lord God. Alrighty, righty. Alright. That is the end of it. You know what I mean? So brothers and sisters, we invite you all. You know what I mean? To come and they ask come out of here. <laughs> you feel me? So you understand? You want to call the number? It's just 290-5173. That is officer Galwan number. Questions, concerns, doubts, Satan in your brain, your family trying to fight against you. You know what I mean? Most likely that is the dice because you know what I mean you they definitely want to try and the most high. Right. And I will have me our position. This world evil as hell, but you see your comment it. Right? If the delta preview, if the delta thing in looking as a preview to show you what time it is. I don't know what else to wait for, you know what I mean? But again, the doors always open here. Alright, so follow the, the, the ICBK. You understand all of our platforms on TikTok, on the Facebook, on the YouTube. Like and share. Let somebody else get a chance to clock us on second. Clubhouse. Right? They don't know. Instagram, everywhere we are, they follow. Make sure and stay tuned. Don't frighten ask your questions. This, this is your time, you know what I mean? Before everything shut down, pray to gather back there, people and them, and come and, and learn, you know what I mean? So that these things then won't be falling. Because all you have all day is lies and garbage. But the Jewish scripture just said, they wear yourself in lies. They ain't stopping. Love that thing too bad. And they break a sweat. <laughs> and you pastor come in and you know, you think and you, you happy dance and never see him. And pass the coppers after. Take your money and you go on. You're home, send your tides. No, indeed, not not the script just saying you're increasing. Uh, <laughs> Remember, script is the other seven or ten percent. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right. And with that, we pass the class to Mr. Pearson of Sasha. Thank you, Security announcement. We are the ISPK out of 123 Alam, New York. Under commanding general Yohanna, we wish our brothers and sisters when a new brother or sister comes to the school, they are both in the first six months. They are here to be seen with the room, they are here to share themselves of the world. After the six months, a brother or sister has a Twitter partner from the head to speak to another brother or sister. There's another six months where the sister will support each other. After the six month period, a brother or sister will get permission from the head to marry. Tight, which is the commandment. You can find it in number chapter 21, Malachi chapter 3, verse 8 to 10. Means ten delivered from Shad Maisha. Send up every penny and keep the most I give you. Give to your treasury department for teacher, priest, court, field offering for priest, non man the choice, whatever most you like to give. Upcoming holy convocation. That will be the more moral going of trumpet the first day of the seven month. That will be Monday, the sixth of September twenty twenty one. That you can find it on Pentecost chapter twenty three, verse twenty four to twenty five. Mind that, you know that, but you check on social media such as ISPK, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and so far ISPK events and material. If your brother wants to be a true fighter school, then just start with all black, which include black boots, like shirt, like pants, like headband, and stuff. And that will say, March up, start up and wrap it up. You're going to say, Lord's Prayer in Hebrew. Abba, no, 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 no,
In the English, bless your heart. Bless your heart. And your shine. And your shine. And my God. And my God. The angels. And the angels. Commanded to my young man. Generals. Generals. Captain. Captain. The officers. Officers. Super. Super. And the sisters. And the sisters. Your heart. Your heart. The name of your shine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So be it. So be it. This is the ICPK curses. Blessed are you, your house. Blessed are you, King of heaven and earth. And all things living. Your house. In the name of your house. This is to us now. Now, right now. Right now. Set you with a curse. And punishment and destruction. And the heathen. And the heathen. And speak against us. Speak against us. The prophets. The prophets. The teachers. The teachers. The princes. The princes. The priests. The priests. The Israel brothers. The Israel brothers. And the school. And the school. Set you with a curse. And the heathen. And punishment and destruction. And the heathen. And the heathen. And the heathen. And shake loose. And shake loose. The church of the treasure of the rich of Israel. And refuse to give to the school. Force the riches. Force the riches. Strengthen to the sun. And evil and curse. And punishment and destruction. And punishment and destruction. And the right. And the nation. And the nation. And the drug dealers. And the forces. And the princes. And the princes. And the princes. And the All the governments of enemies. All the governments of enemies. And the Catholic Church. 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 Yeah, 
Commander General, the Commander General, 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 General,